Welcome to TradingNBA.com. This is John's report is for the 31st of March and as expected the continuation above the 50% continuing to hit all the way up to the 61% uh, Morgan Archie lines and that was that MBI Magenta leading. Of course uh, the NASDAQ has been the primary uh, push but uh, it's helping lift all boats so to speak. Um, no activation from uh, DOC Orange. In fact, it, the slight decline has allowed for that rising DOC Red to continue. So even where there have been some shorts, that just allows for short covering rallies, which have been enough to keep pressing. And NASDAQ pushes into new high range uh, for the recent period, at least the beginning of the year. So um, that's been the strong suit, and it's continuing. In fact, uh, DOC reading wise, you can see green. Uh, leading cyan as well as uh, above red. So uh, super strong uh, from the NASDAQ uh, pushing things forward. Uh, treasuries again still pretty active uh, with yield dropping slightly as more interest continues to flow into uh, treasuries. Uh, from an oil standpoint though, keeps rising uh, nearing that 75 range. Uh, so again, you know, it's early still there's time but uh the more pressure that gets pushed on as we push back towards the 80 it just pressures pocketbooks again uh from a gold standpoint that's all positive same thing from a euro standpoint is going to be continuing to rise and it's just the push this expectation that the u.s is going to be softening uh, their stance not that the eurozone is really doing anything better but Getting up into the upper side of the range, uh, 109 and 111 being uh, most likely where they would like to at least keep it, if not more, um, because when things get softer, really weak, it's going to be uh, difficult to maintain uh, even that uh, subpar, uh, particularly if things in the Eurozone uh, get shaky in any way more than they already are, particularly from the banking side. Um, you know, France is having a lot of difficulties with their protests, and it could have started to have a significant impact on um, growth and everything else. From a Bitcoin standpoint, again, following where gold's lead is, but made new highs, didn't quite uh, hold on to them. And ETH slightly behind in that uh, run. Bitcoin's been uh, certainly the bigger call. From a 50K standpoint, uh, pushed onto the highs and finished towards the highs. Uh, after a modest pullback, it just filled in the positive extremes to start of the day. There's still plenty of others that uh, will need that, and that would take us right back to that same 4008, 4009 range. Uh, should we get a weak signal that uh, comes through? Uh, from an intraday standpoint, see there is where we were. Uh, that rally that it started from before continued up. We hit the upside of that uh, previous algo level. Traded right along the top of it, faded a couple of times, and then took a deeper dive. But that only caused uh, more buying to jump back in. This is close to the uh, 4100 there. So all in all, bulls doing the thing uh, needed, and you know the April will begin, and new fund money will be coming in. So an opportunity for them to uh, continue to press forward and. Difficult trade has always been to the long side in this case because of all the negative news. And so that's that counter rally that tends to be effective. As always, though, um, you can look for indicator updates uh, for uh, April coming through. As always, trade well from me on SketchUp. Have a good one.